This picture shows uh, normal hips. What you want to see, uh, this is the ball part of that ball and socket joint. It's got cartilage on the lining of it. It's, you want to see a hip ball that's um, nice and smooth and rounded. Uh, a peg-shaped ball part of the ball and socket doesn't fit very well. It's putting a square peg in a round hole. Um, so hip dysplasia uh, is a combination of different abnormalities in both the ball part of the ball and socket and the socket itself uh, that are going to cause that joint to be more lax. So in a, in a good joint, one where the ball part is well seated in the, in the socket, it slides smoothly and you don't have arthritis. If that, shallow, if that socket is too shallow or the ball is formed improperly, you're going to have grinding as it slips in and out. Taking good hip x-rays requires heavy sedation or anesthesia. Uh, we have to put the dog in a very strange position. It's very uncomfortable for them to have their legs torqued like this. So this is not generally an x-ray we can do while the dog is awake. Murray here is in for neutering today and so we're going to take the opportunity while he's already under anesthesia to take x-rays of his hips. So when Murray is laying on his back, the x-ray beam comes from the top. The picture that we get when you look at it on the screen is going to be exactly like we're looking at him now. So when I show you the x-rays on the view screen, right is on the left and left is on the right. You're just pretending that you're looking at him from the top down. Uh, this dog is laying on her back uh, as usual. So this is the left hip. Her left hip is really good. The ball part of the ball and socket joint is, is nice and round. It's deeply seated into the hip joint. Her right hip, however, is not as good. So the ball is not seated as nicely and it has more of a square peg shape to it. So this right uh, hip joint is going to eventually get arthritis uh, because that ball and socket is, is rubbing on each other. It's not sliding smoothly into that joint. This picture shows a very shallow, abnormal hip socket and an abnormally shaped head of the femur that's supposed to fit in that socket. And so you're going to get lots of arthritis at the edges here where these, um, instead of being nice and smooth, the pointed edges are grinding against each other. Uh, on this x-ray is um, a little bit older dog and his bad hip is just like the one we just saw um, but his is more advanced, he's been um, dealing with this problem longer. When a pet has arthritis, um, the bone gets lumpy. So if you have arthritis in your hands, your knuckles are going to look big and lumpy. The more arthritis is in the joint, the bigger and lumpier that bone is going to look. Um, so we have this square head instead of a round head. We have little bony projections coming off the hip socket where things are inflamed and the, the head itself has kind of got a lump coming off of this end. The neck of the femur is also thicker than it should be so that bone is, is inflamed and it's making more bone. This x-ray shows hips that are even more distorted and both sides are affected so we have this peg-shaped square where it's supposed to be a ball and the socket is very shallow so hardly any of the head of the femur is actually in the socket. Um, so this is a dog that's going to have severe hip problems. The joints just didn't form properly so this is actually hip dysplasia.